what's up my name is Seep and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this look so if you guys want to know the products I used what all I did uh, do keep on watching and if you are somebody who is into makeup a lot please do consider subscribing to my channel because my channel is all about makeup and now let's get into the video now prepping your skin before you do makeup is very very important because अगर आपका base ही अच्छा नहीं होगा तो आपका makeup भी अजीब सा दिखेगा it look weird it look cakey so you have to make sure that your skin के skin के game is very strong because if you have your skin के basics right your makeup can never go wrong use a moisturizer this is the plant powered mother sponge moisturizer I'm gonna take very little I'm gonna activate the product on my hand. and just tap it on my face activating products be it any product is very very important for them to actually work for your skin and then i'm just simply going to tap it in after the moisturizer i'm going to let it dry for a minute or two and then i'm going to use an under eye cream this is again by a uh, mother sponge plant powered range the product a little and apply Yet again, uh, under eye is something that is very important if you're going to conceal that area, because uh, if you don't do that, and if it's not hydrated, it's going to crease, uh, and it's going to look all cakey and weird. Yes, again, priming step very important is a lip balm. I'm using the one by Baby Lips, uh, by Maybelline. Sorry. Now, after you're done prepping, let it just settle for a bit. and then i'm going to go with a primer the one i'm using is the lakme absolute blur primer this is what it looks like again activate the product whenever you're using any products or whenever you're doing makeup make sure to wash your hands first thing and then start because if your hands are dirty and if you have bacteria on your hands even though you may see that your hands are clean uh there's no harm in just washing it once primer face and you don't have to use a primer all over your face just the concern areas for example for me it is these uh <laughs> craters that i have on my face thanks to oily skin i'm just going to blend that out okay now when it comes to concealing the eyes you can either use an eye primer the one that i especially like is the wet and wild one and or and or <laughs> and you can use a concealer whichever one i prefer uh, i quite like the maybelline fit me concealer you can use pot concealers or any concealers that particularly work for your skin tone very simple application you just take a little and then dab it onto your eyes today i'm going to show you guys how you can uh, prime your eyes by using a concealer so i'm using the fit me concealer this is in the shade 10 light now preferably do not use products directly onto your face the reason for that is the wands tend to have a lot of product in them and you wouldn't know how much to take or how much to fill with a brush at least you have that kind of a control on the products that you take you can go ahead and use it on your face i'm just saying that uh you just tend to have more control if you're using a brush and the one and the brush that i'm using is this flat concealer brush this is uh by the brand pack es09 starting from here start blending that make sure you guys pick a shade that is closer to your skin tone as you wouldn't want the concealed bit to look odd you can see the entire area Then I'm going to take this tiny beauty blender and I'm just going to dab this out. So for today I'll be using this palette. This has like this palette is so beautiful. It literally has everything. If you're somebody who likes playing with colors, if you like neutrals, if you like mattes, shimmers, whatever you like, you will find in this palette. This is the a uh, revolution makeup revolution maxi reload palette it is a beautiful palette it literally like it has everything so if you're a if you're somebody who wants to just buy one palette that has it all go for this one like it literally has it all now 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this base shade it's a it's a matte shade I'm taking this fluffy brush this is the ESO one a brush by PAC and I'm just going to use it all over my eye to set the concealer before we go ahead and start using any eyeshadow because we've used a concealer we need to set it same as for the face when we do it for the under eye otherwise it will crease now I have used a shade that is a little bit near to my skin tone it definitely still has a bit of color uh, what you can do in order to avoid any kind of color you can simply use a translucent powder you can use that on the eyes i'm going to use this pink shade and i'm going to use it on my crease and i'm using this tapered brush this is es05 by pac this is quite a pigmented palette but it does have a little bit of fallout creating that crease two ways that you can create a crease is by doing this motion which is called a car white motion or you can go around like this whatever way you prefer or like or works for you whenever you guys are blending eye makeup and holding a blending brush hold it a little bit from here so that the pressure is a little less when you're trying to blend trying to blend the pressure should not come from here because then it's going to become very precise we want the blend we want it to blend beautifully right so we kind of hold it a little from the back and then we try to blend it i'm going to take more of that shade and put it here so i'm basically trying to create a pink and purple halo eye thing so i'm gonna not do it in the middle and I'm gonna do it everywhere else but the middle I'm gonna leave this area alone uh, cut crease this area and then apply the purple for it to stand out more so every time you're doing a cut crease or anything like that don't go with the wand go with the brush you simply pat it in here wherever you want the color to go you conceal that area now I'm gonna go with this purple shade and I'm gonna put it in the middle of my eyes and I'm using this flat brush to put on the glitter shade and this is ES07 so every time you guys are trying to do a glitter shade right use a flat brush like this don't use a blending brush or a tapered brush or anything just a flat brush because you gotta pat the product onto the spot that you're trying to put it on so always just use a flat brush for it tap it into your skin and don't drag because if you drag then it's gonna leave those foils in your uh, eyelid so just make sure that you drag now do you guys see this now the best of palettes at times tend to not, especially the glitter shades tend to not give so much of a pigment so we tend to use our hands and then apply but then we don't get that kind of a precision with hands so like if i'm trying to put it all over my eyes maybe i could use my hands but if i'm trying to be this precise then it's a brush that can only help me right so there are a lot of times as i said the best of the palettes are not that pigmented so what you do is you use a setting spray and you take the brush and you put a little bit of this setting spray on the brush and then you take the color and then you take the color of your choice it's going to pick up also really well as you guys can see it's going to pick up also really nice and then if you start and applying it it's going to come out really well as you guys can see the color has come out a lot better so this is one trick that i've understood that you by chance have that eye palette that is not that pigmented try this trick especially works for uh, glitter shades yes i'm done putting the purple eyeshadow uh, in between my eyes but as you guys can see there are very harsh lines in terms of where the purple is ending and the pink is meeting same here same here so i need to blend this out because otherwise it's going to look very weird and clown like 
so i need to make sure that like in makeup a general rule is such that none of the blending lines none of the lines where one color is ending or the other color is meeting should be this visible it needs to seamlessly blend and nobody should tell that okay one color is ending here and the other color is starting so you need to uh, blend that out and we are going to do that right now i'm just going to take a blending brush is the same brush that i used for my base and i'm going to blend So guys, I have blended out those harsh lines that were there. As you guys can see, there is no as such line that says that okay, the colors meet here. So they're just seamlessly blended. There is more stuff that needs to happen to the eyes, but I'm gonna come back to that after I am done doing my base. I'm gonna start my base with concealing, and I'm gonna use a cool pink. This is by. Uh, this is the Pro, Pro Conceal LA Girl, and I'm gonna use the green one to reduce the acne or any kind of redness that I see on my face. And I'm gonna use the pink to conceal a little bit of this darkness or grayness that I have under my eyes. Uh, now this is because I'm a fair skin person. If you're someone who's on a deeper skin tone or a medium skin tone, uh, you would do the same by using an orange color corrector. Now remember that every time you're doing color correction, remember to use very little. A little bit of a hue is what you want to create. You don't want to go all the way out. So just very little and then you blend it. So I'm going to use the green everywhere I have acne or redness. I am majorly my undertone is pink. So I am pretty much red everywhere. So I'm it's not like I'm going to end up using it everywhere, but yeah, where I have precise redness that is around my nose area or any acne spots, which I don't really have right now, but I usually do. So I end up using this and then I'm using this concealer brush by Nika and I'm just going to lightly blend this out. Like use it very little so that it does not come across that I've use any kind of a color so when it blends it shouldn't come across as jarring green or orange or any color like that beaver so i have blended that out i can always do a little bit more but i am as i said okay with this much now i'm going to use the pink one and as you can see i have a little bit of grayness under my eyes so i'm just going to use a very little using the same brush i am going to start concealing it Can you guys see the difference already here and here? So I'm done color correcting and now I'm going to go ahead with concealing. And I'm using the same concealer that I'd used on my eyes, the Maybelline Fit Me one. And this I'm going to directly just put three dots. So I know how much I'm going to use. And a little bit here. And that's about it. Same brush, we conceal. And always tap and conceal. Don't rub it like that because it's going to just create those weird lines again. I'm done with concealing bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my foundation the one i personally love because i'm super oily skin as you guys can see uh, i love the fit me matte plus poreless and i'm in the shade 115 this is i think the first shade and i either it's this and if i want to go a little light because sometimes this tends to become a little dry also on my face uh, i like this uh, wet and wild like this is a very lightweight foundation so i like using this at times if you're somebody who has dry skin or if you're somebody who wants a bit of a uh, dewiness in their foundation i tend to avoid that since i already have a lot of oily skin and i already have a lot of shine on my face but if you're somebody who is looking for shine what you can do is you can take a liquid highlighter the one i personally use is the wet and wild halo halo there are three shades also in this you can pick according to your skin tone or according to your likes uh, so you mix a little bit of this and then you take a little bit of foundation You mix the two on your hand and then you apply and then you uh, dab it and do the process But 
I personally like to just go ahead with the foundation because as I said, I already have enough shine. All right, so this is the foundation that I have taken. It's more like a little bit of a BB cream and this I'm using a flat brush to apply the foundation, simply to apply nothing else. And when you pick a foundation with this flat brush, right, don't pick it up from the tips because it's going to be very weird if you do it like that. You have to basically apply it onto you while you're doing this. Let me show you how. So basically you do this, you do not do this. Then also, and if you do that with brushes which are like this, like this, it's simply going to uh, spoil your brush also. It's going to make it all weird and like it's going to spoil the bristles of your brush. So always just apply it onto your skin. It is simply for application and not for blending. And you cannot even blend or do anything with these flat brushes. It is simply and simply application it tends to leave these lines as you guys can see but then of course we're going to use a beauty blender or we're going to use a stripling brush to make sure that these lines go away this brush is simply for applying if you guys are looking for a full coverage foundation or to give you or any foundation in order for it to give you a nice full coverage this is what you do you just apply it with this kind of brush a flat brush and I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little on my neck also whatever's left over on my hand don't worry I know I look like a disco ball right now I am going to blend this out and as I said oily skin people problems shine shine everywhere just make sure over here you're nicely blending it out so that your hairline and your foundation is not looking like this we're gonna blend it out and then it won't now i'm going to use this stripling brush like this and i'm going to do it in circular motion now for areas of my face which are of course uh, areas where this big brush cannot go i use the same thing but a smaller brush it does seem nicely blended out but still of course there is a lot of shine on my face lastly i am still going to use a beauty blender so that i'm just making sure that if i have any excess on my face it can be out or if in case i've missed out any spot that can be blended out as well if i straight away apply my foundation with a beauty blender all of my foundation tends to just simply go on the beauty blender and nothing really comes on my face so i like doing this step in order to get that flawless base and then going ahead with the beauty blender to just make sure that i have may like have it everywhere or if there are any spots that i've missed like that as you guys can see when we've blended out the product there is no nothing that looks like the hairline is different and i have applied something here so make sure that you always blend out this part now i'm gonna set my face using the innisfree no sebum mineral pack you can also use a loose powder it also comes with this puff i can use this puff or a brush or however i like let me show you with the puff because it comes with the product you can use this or you can end up using a loose powder also whatever you guys are comfortable with i have both like I have my moments like sometimes I use this this is super handy to keep in the bag as well so if you're somebody like me who has super oily skin and as you guys can see all of a sudden this area has become matte and you can fold this and put it in here as well I personally like using the translucent ones like this because there are a lot of times even with the same brands that a uh, certain powder does not or a pressed powder does not tend to match with the foundation color that i have used and then it just looks odd so i tend to use a translucent powder and also translucent powders i feel tend to last a little longer for the oiliness or the shine that i have on my face and it controls it for far longer than a pressed powder a colored pressed powder I become fully matte for half an hour at least okay now i'm going to contour my face and i'm using the l'oreal infallible pro contour i think this product is discontinued but i still have it 
So I'm using it. So I'm using the same brush that came with the product and I'm going from my nose till, a, sorry, going from my ear till a little bit here, like till at least my eyeball. I'm gonna go till here, I'm not gonna go further than that. And I'm gonna use it here on my jawline. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Bluff brush and I'm just going to make sure that I dab it. You guys are contouring your jawline, right? Make sure that you contour it down like this. Not just like this. Because it will create that shadow because I tend to have a double chin too. So it will just create that shadow. If you guys want, there's another very good way to contour is that you take a little and you, instead of just putting a straight line, you put it down like this. And to contour my nose as well, I'm using this flat brush. This is again by PAC ES11. I'm going to dab in a little of the product. And I'm going to take it from here and take it all the way down. So as you guys can see, I have a very broad nose. I'm just going to take it down till here. And same thing on the other side. Pull it down. Now I'm going to add a blush and I'm using the MAC one. This is That's Peachy. Now this is basically a little bit of a cream blush. I technically should be using a powder brush only because of the shine on my face. But then I'm like, I just like all products. Now this is a super pigmented one, so be careful. And this is a technique that I've learned off late that you use the blush from out to in and not in to out and since I'm someone who has a broad face I will use it from here to just till here and not more than that uh, I have oh, taken a lot of blush so this is super pigmented so just be careful with how much you use and just blend it out so I switched to the color bar brush. It was basically a wrong brush that I was using. So we have savaged the situation and I'm going to do the same thing here. So this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this small beauty blender that I have and I put it here so that I get it just less product and dab it onto my skin. And I'm going to use the color bar brush to just blend this out. Make sure that your contour line and your blush line are not visible like differently. They should just blend in together. So I'm going to use a highlighter. This is my favorite, absolute favorite highlighter. I don't really need a highlighter, but I absolutely love them. So it's Revolution Pro Illuminate. And I'm going to use this very cute uh, Wet n Wild brush. Dab in a little and go in with a little bit of a highlight. As you guys can see, it's quite nice. Make sure that you blend the highlight, highlight really well. Otherwise, it just looks like a patch to your makeup. Blending is the key to a flawless makeup. Like, you have to have the patience to blend the products that you use. If you do not blend, then everything is going to just look patchy and very stark. So just make sure that you Take out the time to blend. I'm gonna just use very little on the tip of my nose. I'm not gonna use here, or maybe a, a little bit here, just so that it looks like my nose is long, and very little over here. And sometimes what I like is using a little bit on my brow bone move on to the lips or anything i'm going to complete the eye look and i'm using this pack eye pencil this is a, a basically a coal a skin color coal and i'm going to use this and then i'm using this flat brush this is again this is by color bar use it under my eye now these brushes you use the tip because they're the flat ones right so this one you use the tip exactly Be 
basically use the tip of any brush when you want that precision otherwise you use the flat side but this particular brush is to be used for the tip and then I'm going to dip into a little bit of the purple and just put that a little here and we now for your eyeliner there's so many different types of formulations that are there but I personally quite like this Maybelline eye studio one this is the pot kajal it is super pigmented really really nice and for the eyeliner because uh, sometimes you know eyeliners i find are very difficult to make it's super tough and they never tend to match so i really like this brush it's like that angled brush and it really helps to make that winged liner or even this thing like that it just makes it a lot easier so i personally really like this brush this is uh, by color bar and there are a lot of times that uh, a pot liner or any of your makeup products especially for me it's the uh, pot kajals they tend to dry up really quickly i figured out this product by inglot i recently bought this it is such a life saver money saver that you just put it one pump you basically put one drop of it into the solution like that oh i put the inglot thing my kajal was some like something like this like it's just dried out completely after I've put those drops, this is my kajal. See, such a difference. These drops I've started to use for any of the products. If, like for me personally, it's the pot kajal. If any of your products have dried out and you don't want to throw them and, you know, there's still uh, time left for the expiry, you can buy this product. So I'm done with that. Not entirely same, but somewhat. Now for my inner corner, last thing for the eye, I'm going to take this, it's a pink, pinkish highlighter glow shade, I'm going to dab into this one and I'm going to lightly use it in the inner corner of my eye. And now last thing, moving on to the lips, I'm using this NYX lipstick, this is a very pretty nude shade, this is Root Pure Float. And then what I like to do is that I'm going to take this shade Fame from K by Katrina. It's a lip liner. It's a very pretty brown shade and it literally goes with all lipsticks. So it just gives a bit of a fuller look. Of course, I'm just going to smudge that out. I personally like it that after I apply the lipstick is when I put a lip liner. And then I just use a lip brush and then I just smudge out if it's looking like too different. Makes the lip appear a lot more fuller. I honestly believe that doing makeup is just to enhance your natural features and not to hide or want something that we don't have. Simply like be proud of what you have, be it pores, be it a fat nose, be it small eyes, big eyes, hooded eyes, whatever it is. Just be proud of that and um, like be okay with it and just enhance your features. Like use makeup to simply enhance your features or play around with colors, not to hide anything. Last thing, I'm going to use the setting spray. This is by Pack. I'm just going to shake it up a little. Shake all the products that you use and use it like a arm distance. I don't know if you guys can see, but arm distance and just spray it onto your face so that's it guys i'm done with the look i hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial because i absolutely love uh creating makeup looks and if you are somebody who's into makeup please do consider subscribing to my channel and that's it i'll see you guys in the next video